In this video, we would like to demonstrate how to start the ventilation with the Vita XL and how to do adjustments in the settings and in the functions. After the boot process of the device, there are two different possibilities how to start ventilation. One possibility to start with uh, the default settings, which are adjustable. Um, just select the patient group and the ideal body weight, confirm it and confirm start. Second possibility, use previous patient. In this case, the ventilator will start with the settings when you switch the ventilator off, including the individual alarm limits. This makes sense if you are for diagnostic with a patient out of the ward, return and would like to continue the ventilation with the same ventilator settings when you left. In our example, we start with a new adult patient, select the ideal body weight, confirm it and confirm start and now the ventilator starts ventilation. On the screen, depending on the configuration, you see three curves. In this example, we see the pressure curve in the upper line, in the middle line the flow curve, in the lower line the volume curve. To change the curve, just put this button on the curve, select another curve, in this example flow, and close the window by pressing the X. And now we have changed the pressure curve to the flow curve. We can do the same with the flow curve now in the middle line. We select instead of the flow curve, the pressure curve. And now we have in the upper line the flow curve and in the middle line the pressure curve. With this freeze button, you can freeze the curves. And by using the rotary knob, you can move a cursor over the curves and you see the values at the cursor position on the curves directly. To stop the freeze function, hit the freeze button again and uh, the freeze function is stopped. On the right side of the curves, you have three sets of pre-configured measured values and by using this small button in the right corner, you can toggle through these three different sets of measured values. In the heater bar, you see the actual ventilation mode and in the lower area here, you see the ventilation parameters belonging to this actual ventilation mode. To change a parameter, just push the button, the adjustment window opens and the desired value is yellow illuminated. Now you can change the value by using the rotary nap, confirm and now you decreased for, in for instance the desired tidal volume. If you would like to change the ventilation mode, just select the desired ventilation mode, adjust your settings accordingly, confirm by pressing the rotary knob and confirm now the new ventilation mode again and now instead of BiPAP, IPPV is active. The Vita XL offers a special context sensitive help function for a lot of um, functionalities. So whenever you press this questionnaire mark, the ventilator jumps into the explanation um, for the uh, actual function or ventilation mode. By pressing the X, the window disappeared and pressing this X again, you are back on the main screen. On the left side, you have uh, some fixed keys. The yellow one, the upper one, is the alarm silence key. In case of an alarm, you can mute the alarm sound by pressing this key. It's now muted for two minutes. 
If you want to uh, stop muting earlier, just press the button again and the function is gone. Second key is uh, the access for the alarm menu. When you press this button, the alarm menu opens. You can read in the middle the actual measured values and the limits uh, according these values. For changing the limit, just push the button, it turns to yellow, adjust your new limit and confirm by pressing the rotary knob and now the new limit is active. Next button offers you also the ability to have directly access into the ventilator settings, which can also be done by pressing one of the parameters. Same function. The button sensor parameters gives you the ability to do manual cal calibration of the O2 sensor, of the flow sensor, and if the device is equipped with CO2 measurement, also for the CO2 sensor. On the left side of the screen, you have a small button where you can toggle through up to six different screen layouts, which can be configured by the user itself. Whenever a menu is open, <coughs> you can go back to your main screen by pushing this main screen button. And when you push the main screen button, all menus are closed and you return to the main screen. <coughs> Special procedure, open the menu where you have access to inspiration hold, for instance, expiration hold, where you can start the nebulization or where you have access to the uh, O2 suction maneuver. You have also access in this menu to uh, the special measurement procedures like uh, PO1 measurement or intrinsic PEEP measurement, for example, to the low flow PV loop. All of these functions are also explained in the context sensitive help by pressing this questionnaire mark. With the on-off button, you can switch the device into standby, select standby, confirm by pressing the rotary knob, select alarm reset and confirm again. Now the ventilator is in standby and you can shut it down completely by pressing the main switch on the backside of the device. <coughs>